Hi everyone and welcome to week 9 where we're gonna be talking about road mapping. I hope you guys are doing great and taking care of yourself and still progressing in your projects despite of the difficult situation. Um, so the goal for today and sorry the goal of the week is to help you or to make sure that you are able to visualize your project in short term mid and long term uh, milestones and see your let's say your 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 time frame or scope in one to two years right that's the idea of road mapping so I'm gonna be talking also a bit about what we have been doing this is the the model that we are providing you guys with to kind of scope the time and uh, what you want to do in a certain time in your project because it's really important to manage the pacing that you want to work uh, and you want to maintain so uh, the first uh, weeks uh, if you remember uh, we have been focusing on your product vision and value proposition which is something that you want to if you have clear you want to spend from one to three years working working it out and uh, we have been using these tools to help you define this right that's what we have been doing uh, then we translated your your hypoth your visions and goals into hypotheses uh, that you can validate uh, easily that's what we use the tools the canvas and the value proposition and the idea was to get you to do things that are more in the short term and in the sprint uh, kind of uh, context and for that we provide you with these tools that we, you already know about doing the test uh, cards and the designs and doing the backlog and so forth right to end up with some learning and validations so uh, this is the, the kind of uh, time uh, that we have been talking about and remember that we also uh, propose you to use the, a progress board or a backlog uh, or a spring backlog board in GitHub to be able to move your, your progress uh, of test cards uh, forward, right? And your tasks as well as your issues and so forth. So, but today we're going to be talking about uh, your high level wish list, your next features and improvements. Uh, sorry, where your project is going um, and how do you want to, uh, yeah, what what learnings have you gathered from, from, the, from the product backlog releases and things that you have done that you want to put in your next uh, bigger milestones and work towards that in in from one to two years, right? That's kind of the, this, the, the time span that uh that is considered to 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 be scope for product roadmap so how do you do a roadmap that I, I i like this book very much it's very simple it's it's called don't read this book and i used it in the in the previous uh video um i really like it because it's very straightforward you start uh, here in step one where you define your goals what do you want to achieve in this case we're talking about goal from one to two years then you go to where you, where are you standing at the moment uh, what have you achieved uh, what are you capable of doing what sort of team do you have to then land in the strategy which is basically the roadmap what milestones and big steps do you want to do to be able to achieve uh, the goals right so that's a basic principle of road mapping going from from goals and wishes to a back backwards to where you are and then where you how do you want to achieve that right so i'm going to put some examples let's say that you have the goal of releasing your version 2.0.0 by september 2020 or you want to get 100 users and replications maybe or 100 replications of your product you might want to get a funding to sustain core team for two years which might be a couple of hundred uh, a couple of thousands of uh, euros or less depending on where you are in the world uh, or let's say you want to release an alpha version because you're in an early stage in your project so you want to you want to first release a prototype by july 2020 to get some feedback um, or find a manufacturing partner 
that can sponsor and share part of the profits of selling your designs or our designs right in this case i'm putting i'm putting myself in your shoes so these are some examples you could have another goal which might be having a partner school that is using our product and uh, buying us kits uh, and being early adopters or early early customers so these are some examples right now oops so i forgot so now i'm going to put some scenarios of where you are currently standing so you might be uh, standing in a situation where you every month you get a new feature request or idea from your community or you might be in a stage where you have funding enough funding for one person the main uh, person in the project to work full time or three persons in the project to work full time because you happen to be in a university maybe i don't know uh, you might be in a situation where you have validated your core concepts and functionality you have a prototype that works and you have tested you have a solid group of early adopters uh, you have a small community that supports the project so it really depends where you are and that's very important uh, you might have a solid core team of four persons that have been working and dedicated to your project so these are all examples right of uh, where you could be standing depending on, on the difference the different projects that you are working on so one important thing it is up to you to do your entire roadmap open and publish or only key milestones that is worth sharing with the public according to your strategy so we are not encouraging now that you have to publish everything of your plan and your strategy because sometimes you don't want to do that sometimes you want to have a solid core team that agrees and then one, once it agrees on key stuff the, on key aspects of your releases or your plan or whatever then you want to uh, uh, share the agreed milestones right your roadmap your roadmap product roadmap can be open but your entire project roadmap could also be shared only among core team members that's what i just said uh, this is important because it might be the case that you want to uh, Consolidate first the agreements uh, within the core team before actually sharing to the entire public because it might be the case that, and this really happens many times, you you try to reach an agreement or have an idea or a consolidated vision first before getting it out there. Why? Because for several reasons you might want to uh, make sure that you don't have a lot of divergence in in your core strategy or you want to uh, make sure that you have a solid foundation of your proposals and so on right so that those are real things that happen so the step three is actually road mapping it's another word for strategy implementation how to go from a or step one to b or step uh, yeah yeah from 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 a actually step two where are you currently standing to b where do you want to be where do you want to uh, what do you want to achieve and then we're going to be working on the on this uh, aspect now right so let's take an example let's say you you have a release you we are planning to achieve the goal of a release of version 2.0.0 by september 2020 and let's say that we are standing in this scenario where we have validated core concepts and functionality we have a solid group of early adopters and i have a funding to work full time on my project so i can really dedicate this year or the coming two years to uh, to work only on this project that i really like right so let's specify it a bit more the new release uh, incorporates new feature requests pro, uh, uh, that people ask in the community it provides clear guides and tutorials we also want to launch, and launch a campaign and do fundraising in parallel or prior to the release so these are this is perhaps more specific to kind of picture uh, an idea of 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 a strategy and the goal this goal is too general too unspecific so this tries to specify it a bit more right so let's see what we could do okay in order to go from step two or from a to b we want to release new version source files by mid-june 2020 we want to also launch a series of webinars and videos from july until september to teach people how to use our new design or release right that's another thing that we might want to do 
in uh, and can be a milestone in this pro in this example we also want to release guides and documentation by the end of june that's another important milestone in the project right uh, we want to invite people on the internet to do a review of the new release systematically from official launch until the end of December. This is a bit of a longer term or midterm um, milestone. And we might want to find a school or university partner that adopts our open source product in their educational programs by early 2021. So that's another milestone that we are putting there that is mid to long term in the context of the roadmap and this is just yeah these are just some examples that i was uh, trying to show so there are more advanced road mapping uh, things that you might want to consider like for instance you might want to define new features to be released in next version some products or some projects in open source really have a, a roadmap where they say this is what is coming this is what we are promising so they put their promises already in a readme or in the website or whatever uh, they also provide a change log of the new versions like what changed in the new version which is also important um, you might want to advance project management board with milestones uh, as we said this is you want to say okay our milestones in the midterm which in the midterm you can specify it is from let's say today until um one year because our roadmap is, uh, is, is is has a scope of two years or um, uh, the short term which can be a sprint right which is one one to two months right so another advanced uh, part of the road mapping is to implement a scrum or agile like approach with continuous delivery of new product features this means that you if you are in the scenario where you can actually work full-time on your project and you have a dedicated team you might want to use the continuous delivery concept of working in an agile uh, way okay we release every every sprint let's say every one month or every two months new releases or new documentations or whatever is in your in your in your focus um, and you also want to uh, um, keep people updated on new documentations guides and websites based on the new releases so how to do it using github boards milestones and releases i'm not going to actually show you guys how to do the releases because i have i i'm not an expert on this one myself i would like to try it but i i shouldn't do it if i don't know exactly how to do it so I will go to just show you how to use the boards and milestones uh, in GitHub and um, let's do it together. So I'm working on this project now where I actually have three different boards. So you can have uh, as many boards as you want in your project and I'm going to try it out with this one myself. Uh, I've done it in other projects but I, I haven't done it in this one so I would say okay. I'm going to make my roadmap uh, 2020, right? You might describe it here. Okay, here we explain or here we document key milestones that uh, focus the team on delivering key features and achieving achieving in, uh, core milestones right uh, I don't want to use a template for this I want to make it public or private I, I will first do it private to just to check it out right because I don't want to release it without uh, being finished so I'm going to create the new project uh, and I'm going to add a column where I'm going to say short term i'm gonna say only midterm midterm create column and i'm gonna add long term okay so midterm let's say midterm is let's specify it a bit more here midterm is from six to uh, 
from today to six months right and then we're gonna say long term one to one year one to 1.5 years one year and a half right just to you can then make it fancier but I'm just doing it now like this to briefly make the demo so uh, I want to say okay during in this project in particular which is a project related to documentation of open hardware for COVID I want to say okay in my midterm uh, I would like to release uh, version production version of the app and this involves basically I would add others more stuff like having the backend the backend fully functional I want to also uh, have the uh, a feature which is the form for easy documentation uh, Project, project documentation right and I might want to say okay uh, I want to find sponsors uh, find sponsors get funding funding to pay for open source contributors contributors that have volunteer until today why well, that might be a, a milestone another milestone might be to uh, get a traffic of let's say 100 users per week um, from yeah that's that can be another milestone which you see you can see that it's very is very measurable and very concrete right and you might turn this into issues you can turn it into an issue and then you could eventually I'm gonna make a test of this one uh, functional okay I'm gonna make it as an example convert to issue I want to put it in uh, in this one right no in this project actually and let's try it right then what I can do here is that I can create a milestone and say okay a milestone which is key feature release I can create and assign a milestone to someone but you see you can immediately have that and you can also find it in your issues so if I go to my issues I will get the this key feature release right uh, so that's pretty much how you do it in github how you can do it you can also as we said you can make a, um, a roadmap in a markdown as well and um, yeah this is just an example you can make the once I reviewed with the team and I agree with the team on this then I could turn all these intuitions and then I could make it public but for now because I haven't I will just keep it private okay so going back to the to this one to the to the slides uh, it's pretty simple the concept for week 9 the, the assignment is actually one assignment follow the basic process we have provided you in three steps so define your core goals in a time span of one to two years from today specify where are you standing what have you learned validated and achieved what capac capacities do you have reflect about that define clear milestones or intermediary steps that can lead you to those goals for one to two years if applicable and desirable to your specific context specify these ones the milestones in the kanban board as i just showed you guys or do it in a markdown file in your repo calling it roadmap.md uh, yeah so i think this is this is it for today i hope you 
enjoy the video and you uh, you learn something and we are hoping also to get some feedback from you if you have something to share about it uh, please uh, share it in the in the in the video in youtube or you can also do it in our chat in riot and hope to see you soon bye bye and good luck for this new week